Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Medical Minute, and we're going to continue this month with August Vaccine Month. Again, my name is Martha Norris, and I'm a physician assistant, and I run the Ball Teen Health Center at Ball High School. Today, we'll be discussing adolescent vaccines. Why do I need them, and which ones do I need? Why are vaccines so important? Well, as a young child, you get many vaccines from the time you're born, which helps protect your children or you from the disease as you grow. As you become an adolescent, you need immunizations to make sure you stay healthy. Illnesses become a bigger threat as children get older. No matter how healthy an 11 or 12 year old is, staying updated with all vaccines are a must. Which vaccines does your 11 year old or 12 year old need? The first one is gonna be Tdap. Tdap has actually three different uh, vaccines in one injection. It protects against tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis. Tetanus is a bacterial disease, one that can, you can get through cuts or wounds. The infection can cause painful muscle spasm, breathing difficulties, paralysis, and even death. Diphtheria and pertussis can cause dangerous breathing problems as spread, and are spread through the air when someone coughs or sneezes. How you prevent all three of these diseases is by getting vaccinated. Meningococcal infection. The meningitis vaccine protects you against bacteria and viruses that cause meningitis. Meningitis is a dangerous condition that happens when the tissues around the brain and spinal cord can get infected and cause swelling. This can cause paralysis, all kinds of other symptoms, including death. Although it's rare, it's easily transmitted by casual contact like kissing or sharing of food and drinks. It can also spread in places where people live in close contact like college dorms. Teens and young adults are particularly at high risk for this disease. Vaccinating will prevent you from the infection. Human papillomavirus, or HPV. HPV is very common, infecting about 14 million people a year. Some viruses can cause cervical cancer in women, penile cancer in men, and other cancers in both men and women. Excuse me for the typo on mean, it's supposed to be men. There's two reasons why HPV is recommended early. One, if you complete all doses before becoming sexually active, and that is recommended at between 11 and 12 years old to start the vaccination process for HPV. And two, the human body produces more antibodies against HPV when given the vaccine early in, in adolescence, as opposed to waiting later in the teen years for young adults. So getting vaccinated earlier before the age of 14 or younger, you only will receive two injections and waiting to 15 or older, you will receive three injections. Influenza vaccine. All adolescents should receive the flu vaccine every year, including all adults. Everyone should receive the flu vaccine if you're available to receive it. Scientists tailor the vaccine to fight the strains they think will be the most common that season. Now more than ever, due to the pandemic, we need to vaccinate against influenza. For more information on all vaccines presented today, please visit the cdc.gov website and unity14vax.org. Remember, don't wait, vaccinate. Please call the Teen Health Center at Ball High School at 409-766-5750 to schedule an appointment, or you can visit our teenhealthcenter.org for more information on other clinics that are available in Galveston. Until next time.